nations I would like to refer to. Take the Bangladesh crisis in 1971. Two million people had died. Pakistani army had brought death, destruction to every corner of Bangladesh. Ten million refugees were on the eastern frontier of India. The armies of India and Pakistan were confronting each other and there were daily skirmishes. At that time, Mrs. Gandhi decided to go and visit European countries and America to speak to the heads of government to find a political solution. When I got the news in Bonn, where I was ambassador, I couldn't believe any prime minister of a country having the courage to leave the country for a fortnight when the situation was like a brink of war. The aspirations of the people of East Bengal for a free Bangladesh were realized through her support. She extended a hand of friendship and cooperation to every country. As chairperson of the non-aligned movement, she infused a sense of urgency into the fight against apartheid and discrimination, colonialism and aggression. Non-alignment is national independence and freedom. It stands for peace and the avoidance of confrontation. It aims at keeping away from military alliances. It means equality among nations and the democratization of international relations, economic and political. It wants global cooperation for development on the basis of mutual benefit. It is a strategy for the recognition and preservation of the world's diversity. Development, independence, disarmament and peace are closely related. Can there be peace alongside nuclear weapons? Without peace, my father said, all our dreams of development turn to ashes. We are here because we do believe that minds and attitudes can and must be changed, that injustice and suffering can and must be diminished. Our world is small, but it has room for all of us to live together and to improve the qualities of men and women of all races in, and creeds in peace and beauty. I think as a chairperson of the seventh summit of the non-aligned countries, she gave a new direction, a new vigor to the movement. What is more, the initiative taken by her and the appeal of the six nations to the world community, to the world powers, to save humanity from the nuclear war was one of the most uh, appreciated gestures by the world community. At the United Nations and other global bodies, her crusade always was against the economic domination of the developed over the developing world. Her talks with leaders of other nations always centered around mutual cooperation, peace and disarmament. Our goal is general and complete disarmament, a process which must necessarily begin with nuclear disarmament. Despite affirmations of this ob objective from the concerned quarters, the trend at this moment is in the opposite direction, that is, of expanding existing arsenals. Disarmament cannot make any progress until this process is re reversed. The first need is to stop the production of nuclear weapons, then to reduce and eventually to eliminate them. Her fight for lofty human causes made her a global personality and a world leader of unique stature. Preservation of the unity and integrity of the country was a sacred mission. She fought boldly against communalism, obscurantism, revivalism and fundamentalism. पहले इस विचार को हमें घर-घर, मोहल्ले-मोहल्ले, गली-गली फैलाना है 
कि इस मुल्क में आज से नहीं लेकिन सदियों से अनेक धर्म के लोग रहते रहे हैं और जितना अमन भारत में रहा है शायद ही किसी मुल्क में रहा इसके माने नहीं है कि झगड़े नहीं हुए झगड़े भी हुए हैं लोगों की जानी भी गई हैं लड़ाइयाँ भी हुई हैं लेकिन इस सब के बावजूद एक एकता की भावना यहाँ पे रही है टू द पीपल ऑफ दिस कंट्री इंदिरा गांधी वॉज अ सिम्बल ऑफ यूनिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी सेक्युलरिज्म एंड सोशलिज्म To the poor and the weak, she was a symbol of hope. To the hungry and deprived, to the chained and oppressed everywhere in the world, she was a symbol of freedom from want, and liberation, and peace. Her active interest in youth welfare was evident in the country's hosting of the 1982 Asian Games. Her interest in the promotion of mountaineering and adventure sports was well known. Indira Gandhi believed that the nation's traditions of culture should be preserved and fostered. Indira Gandhi was India's national leader who served humanity as one family. <laughs> 